Hi, welcome to Heal Yourself Therapies and welcome to this talk, this <laughs> session that I want to bring to you. This is probably going to be the most important message that I've ever given on a video. Um, and in many ways, I don't really know where to start. I don't know where to start to share this message. But I'll start somewhere and then we'll see where it leads to. So, much of, of the process that I went through when I left the Jehovah's Witness organization was based around me having to disprove the beliefs that I had. And thank goodness I was able to do that. I was able, for those who are familiar with my earlier videos, I was able by way of laughing at the whole structure of, of religion, especially the Jehovah's Witness religion, and also laughing at portions of the Bible that just didn't make sense, that, that just weren't um, valid in my opinion. And I still hold that to be the case, you know, I do believe that the Bible was made, um, is inspired of God, but not by God. You know, it was written by men with who had some inspiration, but it wasn't written by God. And it's very clear when you read the Bible that there are parts of it that weren't written by God at all, but were written by man, very clearly. However, what I'm kind of, I'm, I'm coming around full circle. I'm coming around full circle. And what I'm starting to realize is that, because I haven't studied other religious books, I can't speak for them, but the Bible has some things in it which are, by dint of fact that they're coming true, that we need to pay attention to. And so, what I'm aware of is that we're in a time now. And th look, let's not beat around the bush. I'll tell you what I think. Right? If, if it resonates with you, brilliant. If it doesn't resonate with you, brilliant. Because you know that that's what we've lost. That's where we are now in this world, which I'm going to come to what I think, okay? But just as an aside, we are living in a binary world. We have binary choice. What I mean by that is zero or one. That's our choice. This or that, black or white, uh, left or right. We only have two choices and we've only had two choices for a long time. And the issue with the two choices is, if you're right, then the lefties are gonna hate you. And if you're left, then the righties are going to hate you. And they're going to say that you're stupid. And so we've got a dichotomy. We live in a dichotomy. We live in a world in which there are only ever two choices to make. And let me tell you that that, that world is a very poor world. It's a world that doesn't bear living in, to be honest. Because we are such diverse people that there are, there should be so many opinions that makes, that would make the world rich with opinions, and there isn't. In fact, at the moment, there is but one opinion. The world is upside down, quite literally. The world is upside down. What is good is bad. What is bad is good. What is up is down and what's down is up. The reason for that, and this is my point that I'm coming to, the reason for that is I truly believe that the world, this world, is run by the devil. Okay? I truly believe that now. I have spent the last 15 years 
investigating in profundity what is happening in this world. And I've gone through, anyone who's watched the videos will see me going through all of the stages of uh, what's happening with our food, what's happening with our medicine, what's happening with our spirituality, what's happening with our um, water, what's happening with our earth, what's happening and what's happening with our politics, with our television. And I've kind of been through a long process, a very, very highly involved investigative process in which I have educated myself about what's happening in the world. Now, some people living in the binary world that we live in, remember either you are mainstream or you are conspiracy. Okay? Either you're intelligent or you are Trump. Okay? And this is the binary world that we're living in. I'm very, very aware of it. And so, therefore, were I to classify myself in the binary world, then I would be a conspiracy theorist. That's where I would be. That is because I do not now put any trust in the world. I don't trust it whatsoever. The reason I don't trust it is that I truly believe that it is under the power of the devil. And not only is it under the power of the devil, but it is being ruled by people who worship him. Okay? Now, that might sound really out there. Maybe, even when I say it, it sounds a little bit out there. That might sound really out there. But that's pretty much what the Bible says. The Bible talks about the last days, the last days of, of humankind, and goodness knows, I learned all about that when I was a Jehovah's Witness. They, you see, the Jehovah's Witnesses thought that they had the monopoly on the end of the world. They had the monopoly on Armageddon. They were the only ones that were going to survive. And of course, that's where they were wrong. Yeah, because they got themselves mixed up. They got it arse over tit, to use an English expression. Um, but that's what they thought. However, because I've been educated on the Bible, then I'm able also to take all of the 15 years of studying what's happening and linking it with basically the end of times. And it fits perfectly. It fits so perfectly that I cannot deny it, nor do I want to. And so that's why I'm sharing this with you. But I'm sharing it with you for a very important reason. And the reason is that there's a happy ending to this story. There always has been a happy ending. You see, as a Jehovah's Witness, the happy ending was that all the little Jehovah's Witnesses would go off and live in paradise. Okay? And that was the belief. And that was why the, the happy ending was a very unhappy ending for everybody else. Because everybody else was going to die. Okay? Now, what I've done is I've looked beyond that stupidity of the Jehovah's Witnesses. But what I can see is there's something happening now. I believe, I believe that we are in the last days. And I don't mean the last days as in leading up to the last days and everything. I believe that we are now in Armageddon. We are in the battle. There is a battle of good against evil. The evil has penetrated itself, infiltrated itself, insinuated itself into every aspect of this world. Every aspect of this world. There's an expression which I've heard many, many learned people using, and they've used this for years. One of them is Michael Tellinger and Lloyd Pye. And they say, everything that you know is a lie. Okay. And when I heard that, I found that very difficult 
to believe. I found that very difficult to swallow. What do you mean everything I know is a lie? And now I believe that wholeheartedly. You see the way that the devil works. Okay, and, and remember that we, we have been conditioned to understand the classic devil horns and all of that. But I'm talking about this power that has taken over the world. Literally a power. And that power is so malevolent, so evil, that what it has done, it has over a period of time, and now it's accelerating so much, it has made good bad. It has made bad good. It has made up down. The idea is to turn everything on its head. And that is what it has done. So now, the people who have the power are the most evilest people in the world. The bad are the good. The media portrays people as good when they're bad, and it portrays people as bad when they're good. And this is where we are. And every, in every aspect of life, this is what we're seeing. Why is everything so bad? It's because this is not our world anymore. And when I say this is not our world anymore, I'm referring to those people who feel inclined, who feel drawn to something better. You see, we are in the minority. And when I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to a minority. If this message resonates with you, we are the minority. There is, at the moment, a tremendous awakening happening. An awakening that's happening so quickly, it has never, ever happened as quickly, ever. What I am seeing now, and when I say what I'm seeing, in terms of the way that information is being censored at a rate that is alarming, but whatever the censor, it comes back double. It's like chopping off the head of the viper and two heads grow. And this is what is happening with the, the absolute wealth of information that is coming through to us. But not everybody wants that information. And this is, has been really hard for me to come to terms with. That how is it that it's so clear to me and yet people are blind to it. Sometimes people that I love aren't able to see it. And that's because that's not their path. The sense that I get now is that some of us are waking up, but only the ones who will want to wake up. You see, being asleep is very comfortable. Being asleep is the most peaceful thing that you can do. And no matter how uncomfortable the reality is, or the reality becomes, and trust me, the reality will become very uncomfortable for the sleeping people. It's still better to be asleep for them. They still choose to be asleep. That's the path that they've chosen. They want to remain asleep and to conform and to do everything that they are told that they have to do. That's their choice. That's their karma. That's what they want to do. But there is a band of us, and it's a small band, which is growing quickly, but it's still small. We will never be the majority, the sense that I get. We will never be the majority, but we will be strong. We are a strong minority. We're strong-minded, and the reason that we're strong-minded is that we are awake. We have woken up to the reality of what's happening in this world, that this world is not ours anymore. It has been taken over. It was prophesied. It's what the Bible tells us. And I am not a big fan of the Bible because of the way that it was used on me. However, I'm no fool when it comes to what the Bible says. And I'm no fool to what's happening now in this world now. 
if this kind of topic resonates with you, then I suggest that you start looking around this world now for the signs, because they're there. Because we have an Antichrist now. We have someone who has hailed themselves as the saviour of the earth. And I'm not talking about Donald Trump. We have someone who's hailed themselves as the saviour of the earth. The person who is going to eradicate this virus for us. They're going to bring in what we need so that we never have to worry again about the virus. To bring in the new reality, the new normality. And this person is also bringing in the mark of the beast that you wear on your forehead or your hand or your arm or wrist, wherever it is. And nobody will be able to buy or sell without it. And this is already in motion. This is already in motion. And so we are in the last moments. We are in what is classically known as Armageddon, the battle between good and evil. The great news is that when there's a battle between good and evil, good is there and we have good on our side. What's even better is there's a happy ending. The story ends happily. So, what's the happy ending? Well, the happy ending is that there's a battle and good wins out. Good wins out. And so we can have confidence that good will win out. We can have confidence. It might be a bumpy ride, but good will win out. You see, even in simplistic terms, when a room is dark and you switch the light on, the darkness goes away. But if you try and turn up the dark, you can't. Light always wins darkness. Light always overcomes darkness. Darkness is the weaker vessel. It is the weaker element. And light always pervades. But when light is taken away, darkness comes. And that's all that's happened. And now the light keeps getting brighter. And what happens when the light keeps getting brighter is that we start to see more and more. If we're awake, if we are the ones that are paying attention. And so all that's happened is that the light has kept getting brighter and we have begun to see the horrific situation in which we're living. We lived in the dark, we didn't realize that the whole place was crawling with monsters. Now the light's on and the rock is lifted and we see the disgusting thing that it is. And this is where we are. This is where we are. We are in a battle of good against evil and good will out, good will win because that's the plan and because that is what the prophecy is. Good will win 